Lexi, standing here today with you, I'm a completely different man than when you met me. Neither of us were looking for love that day at Pabs, and we didn't find it either. We found laughter and the best friends we could ask for. Neither of us knew what love was, but we were soon to find out. My name is Alicia, um, and I am the bride's older sister and the maid of honor. I want to thank you all for being here to celebrate this special day. I remember wondering if there would ever be a guy brave enough for someone as strong-willed as Lexi. <laughs> So I've known Dakota Schmaltz since I was about 11 years old. My first impressions were basically, this kid sucks, <laughs> like awful. Like who does he think he is, yeah. But uh, soon after I made a startling discovery, I was like, the kid's pretty funny. He's really funny. Uh, me and him have the same sense of humor and that turned into about 15 years of some of the most obnoxious, gut-busting laughter you could ever imagine. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've actually liked someone like that. That's he just my makes home. me feel better. He is yeah. your home, and that's what's amazing about it. <laughs> like he's don't let me cry. <laughs> <laughs> like... I never oh, doubted for a second <laughs> that that you were the right one for him, and it's just puts my heart so much at ease to be able to hand them over to you. In many ways, Lexi is the closest person on this planet to me. But in other ways, we're completely opposite. Like many sisters, we weren't always best friends. But as we've grown older and matured, We've learned how to set aside our differences, and by doing so, I've been able to see and appreciate the beautiful sister my sister has become. To the love of my life. Zero days left, babe. We finally made it to one of the best days of our lives. The day that marks the beginning of our forever. I still remember the very first time I laid my eyes on you. On the front porch of Pavs just four short years ago. I will never forget the feelings of first meeting you. You were tall, had dark hair, nice muscles, and a beautiful smile. But what I noticed the most was how gentle and kind you were to everyone around you. Um, his sense of humor can only be outshined by his character. He is himself to a fault. He does not care what anyone thinks. He is outrageously cool. I mean, look at him. In style and demeanor, his house could be on fire, he'd just be chilling. Like, you know, yeah. Your looks drew me in, but I fell for who you were as a person. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists, one that started four years ago. Yes, I'm one of the grandmothers, and this little girl came into our lives 17 years ago. 
when her, <laughs> when her mother married my son Justin. And I have one of my fondest memories is at their wedding, she was didn't want to let go of her mama. And there is a picture of Holly in her wedding gown dancing with this little girl. We have now come full circle. Four years later and here we are, the best four years of my life. With you, I have grown so much as an individual. You have taught me new things about myself that I never even knew. Time flies and before you know it, we'll be sitting in a rocking chair, thinking back on this day and all of our amazing friends and family and know that our love is what brought it all together. Dakota, you are the most amazing person I have ever met. And these are my vows to you. I promise to remain your companion and friend, to be with you always, to care for you, and to cherish and love you no matter how far apart we may be. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths, as you do mine. I vow to give you my hand and heart as I pledge my faith and love to you. I love you, Lexi. Dakota and Lexi, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. And the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Dakota, you may kiss your bride. We are. <laughs> it is my honor to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Dakota Schmaltz. <laughs>
we're about to do this damn thing and uh, there's no turning back and I couldn't be happier. And we have the greatest life already. And if I was gone tomorrow, like I would, my heart would be so full. I've already lived the best life with you and we're about to live. We have the rest of our lives to live it. And it's, I love you. That's, that's all I got.